So, a few of you asked if I could do a review of the Kodak Actar H35, so here it is. Hi, I'm Bon and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience using the Kodak Actar H35, and while I'm at it, I'm going to be showing you some sample images as well as how to use it. The Kodak Actor H35 is a reusable film camera that takes 35mm film. Like other reusable film cameras, it is made out of plastic and pretty small, so it's lightweight and pocket sized. I wouldn't say it has the sturdiest build, but for something made out of plastic, I'd say it's sturdy enough. Specs wise, it has a shutter speed of 1 100th of a second, which is a little slower than other reusable film cameras but it has a 22mm f9.5 lens, which is wide. But it's a half frame camera, so it's not really 22mm. I'll get back to this later. Appearance wise, I like that it looks different compared to the ones that I've seen so far. It reminds me a bit of old rangefinder cameras like the Canon Demi, which is this old half frame film camera from the 60s. It even mimics some of the mechanisms, like in a lot of those older rangefinders, you can change settings like aperture and shutter speed by twisting these control rings on the lens. In the Kodak Actar H35, you turn the flash on and off similarly by twisting the lens. It's a neat callback, I'd say. However, the main selling point of this camera that sets it apart from the other reusable film cameras is that it takes half-frame photos. As the name suggests, instead of taking a full frame, which is 36 by 24 millimeters, it takes half of that, or around 17 by 24 millimeters, to account for that extra framing gap. So you'll get double the amount of photos per film roll, say if you're using a 36 exposure roll, then you'll get about 72 photos. Which sounds great, especially with how expensive film prices are at the moment. Right? Well, yes and no. It does save you money by giving you more photos per film roll, but you do lose some of that image quality because of the smaller exposure size. However, if you're watching this video, then you're probably cool with using plastic cameras which have plastic lenses, so they're not really great with image quality to begin with. However, they can be full of character. If you do want a half frame film camera that doesn't sacrifice much of the image quality, then check out this video I made of the Olympus Pen FT. To load the camera with film, open the back of the camera by toggling this door lock. Push out the film rewind knob, then load your choice of 35mm film into the film chamber. Next, rotate the film take-up spool by turning the film advanced wheel until you see the slot. Pull the film leader a bit and stick it inside the slot, then advance the film making sure that this tab hooks onto one of the sprocket holes. Add some more tension by turning the film advanced wheel more to ensure that the film has fully latched onto the take-up spool, and then you can close the film door. Next, turn the film advanced wheel until it stops, then press the shutter button. Do this once or twice until the film counter up top says 1. That means you're ready for your first shot. To take a photo, you need to turn the film advance wheel until it stops. This will cut the shutter for your next photo. You can then compose the image using the viewfinder and press the shutter button to take a photo. You have to advance the film every time you want to take a photo. Now, composing photos with this camera is a bit different. Usually the default framing is in landscape format. However, it's in portrait mode in this format. So keep that in mind. To use the flash, you need to put one AAA battery into the battery compartment under the camera. Just light off the compartment's cover and insert the battery with the positive side up. To turn on the flash, toggle the control ring of the lens to the flash on symbol. Wait for the red light behind the camera to glow, then the flash should fire on your next shot. 
one thing that I noticed with this camera is that when you turn the flash on and it already loads, even if you turn it back to off, the flash will still fire on your next shot. Maybe it's just my camera, but it is annoying. Once you're finished shooting a roll, press the film rewind button at the bottom of the camera. Then, turn the film rewind knob clockwise. Once there's no more tension from the film, you can then open the film door and take the film out for processing. If you're new to film photography and you're wondering how to get your photos from this camera to your phone, I suggest heading to your local film lab and ask them to develop and scan your films for you. It does cost extra money up front, but at least you know that your film is being processed professionally. You can then send the digital copies of your negatives to your phone and such. However, if you are feeling brave, there is a lot of content here on YouTube that teaches you how to scan and develop at home. As you can see from these photos, the camera's image quality is comparable to other reusable film cameras. The center of the image is decently sharp with some smearing in the corners. It has the disposable film camera character but honestly, I'm pretty impressed with how it looks given that this is already a half frame camera. Keep in mind it only has a shutter speed of 1 100th of a second, which is fast enough for most cases, but you'll get some motion blur on fast moving subjects. Another thing I noticed is that this camera does let more light in compared to other reusable cameras I've used in the past. Like I said earlier for these photos, I used the role of Kodak Ultramax which has an ISO rating of 400. Usually, this ISO is what I'd recommend when using reusable film cameras. For the Kodak Actor H35, it looked a tad bit overexposed. Granted, I did use it during a sunny day, but it seems like ISO 200 would work better with this camera when you're outdoors. Heck, maybe ISO 100 would even work, so you could probably use films like Kodak Actor 100 just fine. Going back to the 22mm wide lens, since this is a half frame film camera, it is technically about a 30mm lens, so it's still not too wide. If you want a reusable film camera that has an ultra wide lens, I suggest checking out the Reto ultra wide and slim film camera. By the way, I tested this camera during the Toronto Chinatown Festival where I met up with JC, who also has a film photography channel. Do check her out because she's awesome. Uh, we walked around the Toronto Chinatown, Kensington Market, and a bit of Queen West area. I also brought my Fujifilm TX1 or the Silver X pan with me that day. I'll probably make a video about that too, but I don't know. Let me know if you're interested in seeing that. Anyways, a fun challenge I like to do with half frame cameras is to make diptychs where I take consecutive photos that are somewhat related to each other when viewed together. Like this one where I used consecutive images to tell a sequence. But yeah, overall the Kodak Actor H35 is a fun camera that combines the experience of half frame film photography with the lo-fi aesthetics of reusable plastic cameras. Again, if you don't like the disposable camera look, you'd probably be happier getting a good old mechanical half frame film camera like the Olympus Pen FT. However, if you find the look of photos taken with disposable cameras appealing and you like the idea of getting more photos in a film roll, 
then you'll probably enjoy using this camera. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it informative. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you all again in the next one. Cheers.